everyone. Um, so we're going to put together another core 21 minutes for you. Um, so just a couple things before we start. As I always say, make sure you listen to your body. So if something doesn't feel right, please feel free to modify it. Uh, it's really important that we all stay injury free so we can continue to exercise. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to start off with a little bit of a warm up and then we are going to do core a core workout to timed sets. So we are going to do 30 seconds with a 10 second rest in between each one. We are going to do three exercises and then we're going to do those three exercises twice and then we'll move on to the second set. So all I'm asking for is 21 minutes of your time. We'll try to get to as close as that as possible. We might throw in a minute bonus, um, but we will start uh, the clock. In the warm up, we're going to start the warm up today um, just on the floor instead of going from standing to on the floor. And uh, I got my stopwatch here, so let's should we get going? Let's get going. Okay, all right. So, start up here first on your hands and knees. We are just going to take it out slowly, take it out, stretch. You want to warm up your body, find your balance. Sometimes it's hard. I've been sitting all day. So it's a little bit hard to find my balance when I start, but just get this all warmed up. Try to keep your spine aligned with your back. I mean your neck aligned with your spine. I'm sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. All right, let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and last one. All right, let's just stretch out our lower back, get our body warmed up in a child's pose. For those of you who've taken yoga before, you know what a child's pose is. And for those of you that have taken yoga, you can come to a downward dog. So we're just going to go up like this. All right, let's start by bringing the knee in and then out. You can just go as little or as high as possible. All right, let's keep going. Let's do eight more on this side. Eight, seven, six. Let's go for five more. Four, nice and controlled. Three, two more, last one. All right, put that foot down. Let's get the other side going. One side might seem more flexible than the other. All right, let's go for eight more. Seven, Six, five, four more, three more. You got two more left. You can do it. All right, here's your last one. Excellent. All right, let's come back down. Let's go into a child's pose again. Start to feel your breathing come up a bit. All right, let's get onto our back. All right, so we're gonna start just by doing a few crunches. So I wanna make sure that your lower back is as flat to the mat as possible, to the floor. So really push down your lower back. Might tilt up your pelvis a little bit, but your lower back needs to stay flat against the floor. Okay, so let's just go into some crunching motion here. And let's come slowly. All right, just come slowly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go for ten. Nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's stretch it out a little bit. Get that stretch going. Now we're gonna go back into those crunches. We're just gonna go two up and two down. All right, so let's do 20 of those. Ready? So go up, further, down, down, up, up, down, down. We have 18 more, up, up, down, down. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two. Good job, everyone. Last one. All right, let's hug those knees in. Whew. All right. Okay, so let's go into our time. We're already in five minutes. So time goes by super fast when we're having fun, of course. So I'm going to put on the timer. Again, we're going to do three sets. We're going to each do each exercise for 30 seconds. We've got a 10 second rest in between. And then we're going to do those three exercises twice and then we'll move on to another set. All right. So just quickly, I wanted to demonstrate the first three exercises we're going to do. We are going to start off with a starfish and then we're going to do the Russian twist and then we are going to go into a plank. But we're going to do a little bit of seesaw action on the plank. So first of all, just to demonstrate the star fish is down and out like a starfish back up all right so you'll get some momentum happening like this all right so that's our first one then we're going to go into russian twists so we russian twist is like this make sure you keep your chest up and proud nice and proud all right right over like this then we are going to go into a plank but we're going to seesaw frontwards and backwards frontwards and backwards. All right. So I'm going to put the timer on. Let's do this. Do your best and make sure you breathe. I will instruct you to some of the key technical posture requirements of each one. And uh, let's go for our first one for starfish. All right. We got six seconds. This one's this one's kind of tough. All right. All right. Let's go. All right, you can do it. Make sure you're crunching in, crunching, 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 crunching. Keep going. Good job. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, let's go to the Russian twist. In five, four, three, two, one. You can keep your foot, feet on the floor like this, or you can bring your feet up, whatever works for you. Again, just make sure you've got that V angle and you're keeping your chest nice and proud. All right, good job, we're already halfway. This will get the sweat going. All right, we have three, two, one. Good job. Let's turn over quickly. Let's go ahead into that plank position. We're going to do a plank in three, two, one. Everybody remembers you want your elbow directly underneath your shoulders. All right, you don't want your hips too high or too low. You want them perfectly in the same height as your shoulders. Now let's take it back and forth almost like a seesaw. All right, you have 10 seconds here. Keep going in five, four, 
three, two, one. Good job. All right, we're going to do those three exercises again. So flip over quickly. Go back into starfish. All right, in three, two, one. Let's come up and down. Get the momentum going. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're breathing. If at any time something is, does not feel right, just go into a crunch or a normal sit up or a plank, whatever feels best for you. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, we're gonna go into Russian twist. Again, feet of the four, feet up in three, two, one. All right. Again, make sure you have that chest nice and proud. Dip right down, right down, right down. You can do this. About 15 seconds. Good job. Keep it going, keep it going. In three, two, one. Good job, let's roll over onto the plank. Woo. All right, in three, two, one. All right, let's make sure we're all adjusted. Got your elbows underneath your shoulders, your hips, same height as your, your shoulders. Let's seesaw back and forth now. Forward, backwards, forward, backwards. Really take that belly button into the back of your spine. You can do this. You got eight seconds. Woo. Five and four, three, two, one. Good job. Just take it to child's pose just for a second. All right. Good job, everyone. All right, let's go into our next three exercises. So we're going to work on obliques for this set. So I want you either, you can see my feet, you can either be in front of each other or you can be on top of each other, all right? Whatever works for you, I'll come up a bit more. So you can do this. We are gonna go into a plank, side plank, and we are gonna pulse up. All right, so whatever works for you, if you wanna do this, you can do that. Sometimes it's just a little bit harder. On your foot, you feel a little bit more pressure, but whatever is more comfortable for you. Or just do this. If you don't wanna bring it up a notch, just give me crunches. We just wanna work on the obliques. All right, so we're gonna do one on each side, and then we are gonna to go to Spider-Man plank. With Spider-Man plank, it's like we're in a plank, okay? But we are bringing our knee up to our elbow on each side. All right, we're like Spider-Man, we're climbing that building. So again, make sure that your hips stay down and not up. I'm gonna go through those three exercises um, twice through, and uh, then we'll go over to our next set. We're already 12 minutes in into 21. So let's do our first one. Get ready for your favorite oblique side. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, let's go up. All right, let's pulse now. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Make sure that sh that elbow is underneath your shoulder. Let's pulse up. Woo. Let's make sure that belly button is pulled into your spine. You can come lower, you can go up. Whatever works for you. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Make sure you're breathing. You got five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Let's flip over. Let's do the other side. We're going to start in five again. Three, two, one. All right. Pulse up, pulse up. Good job. Whew. This is a good one. Keep going. You can do it. Got 12 seconds left here. Three, two, one. All right, let's go into those Spider-Man crawls. Spider-Man plank in three, two, 
one. All right, let's do this. Keep going. We got this. We're almost done our first set of two. Keep going. Get that elbow. Get that knee to the elbow. Three, two, one. All right. Let's go back. Pick whatever oblique you want to do again. We're going to do those three exercises over again in three, two, one. Again, you want to make sure your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Pull that belly button in. Let's pulse up and up and up and up and up. You're halfway. Keep going. In three, two, one. Oh, good job. All right, let's go to the other side. Whew. Weak ones are hard. All right, let's get in position here. All right, let's go up. Impulse, impulse, impulse. Good job. Give our abs a good workout. People are doing a really good job in the Relentless Fit Fam. You guys out there, you're killing it on the cardio. It's always good to incorporate some strength training with your cardio. That seems to be the magic. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go back into those Spider-Man planks. Woo. All right, it's getting tough. Hopefully you're heating up a bit. All right, let's get into those Spider-Man planks. Get those knees to the elbows. Good job. Hang in there with me, hang in there. We're halfway. Good job. You got seven seconds. In three, two, and one. All right, come back into a child's pose. Just for a second. Whew. All right. It's like cardio, cardio core. Okay, let's move on to the three next three exercises. We're gonna have our feet up and we're gonna come down on the counter floor. We're not gonna put our feet on the, let's see, even see my feet. You don't wanna put your feet on the ground. Here, we're gonna bring back up in four. Down to four. Okay, four up, four down. Then we are going to do, we're gonna work on our lower abs in this set. So then we're gonna to do toe touches. So you cross over, touch the outside of your feet. So you can't see my feet, but I'm trying to get as far up the outside of my feet as possible. All right, and then we're gonna hold in this position. We're just gonna clap with our feet. So you want your feet, you want it higher, a little bit easier here or here, whatever works. Okay, we're working our lower abs. All right, let's get ready. Let's do this. We're already 1737. Let me get through this session. It goes by so quickly. So let's do our first one with feet up in the air. Ready? Let's bring it down for four, three, two, one. Come back up for four, three, two, one. Come back down for four, three, two, one. Come back up for four, three, two, one. Come back down for four, three, two, one. Come back up for four, three, two, one. One, let's go back down for four, three, two, one. All right, good job. Let's keep those feet in the air. We're gonna do our toe touches here. All right, let's go. Touch the toes, far up as you can. Get those shoulders off the mat. We can do this. Keep going. Get far up there as you can. Shoulders off the mat. Really pull in that belly button. Reach your spine. Good job. Keep going. You got this. 
in three, two, one. All right, way to go, Relentless Fit Fam. All right, so let's get in position. On the count of three, we lift up in three, two, one. All right, let's clap. Let's clap. Shoulders off, or you can stay shoulders down. A little bit better. Shoulders off. Make sure you really push your lower back down to the ground. Again, if you want to bring them up a little bit more, that's a little bit easier for you. Do that. We're working on a lower core. So keep thinking of your lower core. Go out in, out in. You're touching your toes. In three, two, one. Good job. Let's do that set over again. Whew. Let's get our feet in the air. In three, two, one. Let's go down for four. Three, two, one. Let's come back up for four. Three, two, one. Come back down for four. Three, two, one. Back up for four. Three, two, one. Come back down for four. Three, two, one. Come back up for four. Three, two, one. Come back down for four. Three, two, one. Take a break. Let's put those feet in the air. We are going to go back to toe touches. In three, two, one. Let's go. All right, toe touches. Whew. Get as far up as you can. Get those shoulders way off the ground. Keep going harder. We're almost done our workout. You can do this, right? Good job. Woo. Excellent. Woo. Keep going. You got six seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Let's hug in those feet. Get ready. We're going to go back to the taps. In three, two, one. Let's tap our feet. Almost like we're clapping our feet. Yeah, good. All right. Make sure you're not stringing your neck. You want to feel all the pressure in your abs. Okay? So lower abs, upper abs, this is a good one for both. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. We're happy. We're almost done. We're clapping because we're almost done. Make sure you're breathing. Breathe. Woo. Three, two, one. Good job. Let's bring our knees in. Give yourself a hug here. All right. How much time do we have? We are at 21 minutes and 47 seconds. All right. So we are at our goal. You want to turn me off now? You can. If not, <laughs> why don't we do two more exercises? We're going to do each exercise for 30 seconds. Okay, let's do, why don't we do two exercises and we'll do them twice. So each one, 30 seconds, 10 seconds rest. We'll do that over again and then we are done for the day. All right, so let's do that. So we're going to do two things. We're going to do a typical bicycle. All right, so if you can see me, we're going to do bicycle. We're going to do a bicycle. We're going to flip over. We are going to do a plank. All right. You want to take it up a notch? Watch. We're going to pulse our foot up one side, and the second time we'll pulse up the other side. Okay. You just want to stay in a regular plank. You can do that too as well. All right. So bicycle, plank, bicycle, plank. We're done. All right. So let's get ready to go on a bicycle ride. We got it here. We're going to start in five seconds. Already, make sure you're not pulling your head. Put your hands outside your head. All right, let's bicycle nice and controlled. You don't want to go fast. Everybody thinks fast is good. It's not actually. Sometimes it's harder to go slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. Let's bicycle. All right, good job. Make sure you're breathing. It's easy to hold our breath and core. You can do the talk test. See if you can talk while you're working out. In three, two, one. Good job. Let's flip over. All right. Normal plank, or we're going to just do a little bit of a, a leg lift here. All right. Let's go up. Okay. So I'm doing the other leg. Again, make sure your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders and your hips are the same height 
as your shoulders, not too high, not too low, you're pulsing out. So you're working your glutes here at the same time you're working your core. All right, you can kind of feel a little bit of your quad or your other leg. Whew. This one's a good one. Yep, five more seconds here. In four, in three, two, one. All right, let's quickly go back to the bicycle. This is a good one. We'll get you worked up to 42 minutes in core. Let's go for another bicycle ride. Woo. Good job, everyone. All right, so make sure you take a lot of time to stretch afterwards if you can, or maybe you're doing this after you've gone for a run, or after you've done some skipping, or maybe just a nice walk, or maybe you've already gone cycling. So make sure you stretch after every exercise and eat healthy. In three, two, one. All right, we've got one more exercise. Let's flip over quickly. We're starting six seconds in four, in three, in two. Let's pulse the other leg up now. Ooh. All right. Again, make sure you're all set up for a proper plank. Elbows underneath your shoulder, belly button into spine. You want to make sure your hips are not too high. You want to make sure you're breathing nice and deep. All right. Excellent. We've got 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Let's take some nice child's pose here. Oh. Good job, everyone. Good job. This is good. It's not easy, but hopefully you feel that your core is worked out. It's a little bit of a different core workout because um, we're doing it to time, almost like Tabata style. But it's always nice. It's just different, right? Instead of always counting. All right, so let's take uh, our legs, our knee out. Stretch a little bit of our hip flexors. Sometimes when we do core, we actually feel it a lot in our hip flexors. So I like to stretch the hip flexors a bit. So when you're doing this stretch, you should be feeling the stretch here. I'll show you from the side what that looks like. All right, so you're wanting to do, you're never wanting to put your knee past your toes. So you wanna get this nice stretch here. Okay, so let's hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's take the other one. Let's do this one. All right, get into that nice stretch. Ooh. All right, good job. Get the stretch here. Again, take some extra time to stretch if you can. Let's hold this more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So let's just get here. Let's just go over to the side. We did lots of obliques. Just want to stretch that out a bit. All right. Feel that stretch. All right. Good job. Excellent. All right. So let's hold that again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go over to the other side. So just to let you know, you probably did probably about 25 minutes of core. So that was very good. We didn't stop the stopwatch. We were almost at 22 before we did the last uh, four exercises. Let's hold this for four more. Three, two, one. All right, let's stretch up. Tall like spaghetti. Try to reach the ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. All right, let's give me three deep breaths and we're done. Let's go for one. Let's take another deep breath. Inhale, exhale. The last one, inhale. Let's come down in the middle. Anyways, good job, everyone. 25 minutes of core. That is 21 plus four. Anyways, hope you enjoy the class and we'll hope to see you very